Hello and welcome to this learning video. We have already taken few examples on this uh, topic and we are here it again with some different variety of problem on the same topic. Now before we start this problem I would recommend you all to revise the rules for complementary function and particular integral for the higher order linear differential equation with constant coefficient. So once you revise all these things understanding is going to be a very good in such type of problems and uh, for your ready references I have given the link of uh, the rules of CF as well as for PI in the description so you can uh, just go through those uh, uh, video lectures first and then you can just uh, try this problem okay so let us start with this problem so this problem says find the extremals of the functional y is equal to uh, v of y x is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 y square minus y dash square minus 2 y sine 2 x dx okay so we can first of all write what is my function f right so let f is equal to what is f here y square minus y dash square minus 2y sine 2x so this is my f now as you all know that we are going to make use of Euler's equation. So what we want? We want derivative with respect to y and derivative with respect to y dash. Because Euler equations involves derivative with respect to uh, f, derivative of f with respect to y and y dash. So let us find out del f by del y. So what is del f by del y? Derivative of this with respect to y keeping x and y dash constant. So 2y minus 0 term of y minus 2 derivative of y with respect to y is 1 into sin 2x. Okay. Likewise, you can find out the derivative with respect to y dash. So if you want, I can solve this like uh, 2y minus sin 2x. Okay, now derivative of this f with respect to y dash. Is there a term of y dash? No, so derivative is 0. Is there a term of y dash? Yes, so what is derivative of x square? 2x. Likewise, derivative of y dash square with respect to y is 2y dash minus. Is there any term of y dash? No, so 0. So this comes out to be minus 2y dash. Okay, now we know that extremals are given by the Euler's equation. So you can write one sentence here, extremals are given by, given by what? Euler's equation, given by Euler's equation and what is that Euler equation? Del f by del y minus d d x of del f by del y dash is equal to 0 okay now you, you have all these values substitute what is del f by del y this 2 into y minus sine 2x is it minus d dx of what is del f by del y dash this is minus 2 y dash yeah is equal to 0 now you can divide by 2 throughout so I am removing 2 so this is removing 2 on dividing by 2 we get this so y minus sine 2x minus this minus plus 2 is removed so 1 derivative 1 derivative 2 derivatives equal to 0 simple now term of y on the one side and the term of y term of x on the other side so you can write this one is y double dash plus y is equal to sine 2x simple 
Okay, now what is this y double dash? d two y plus y is equal to sine two x. Okay, so now as you can see, this is the higher order. homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficient okay and we have the left hand side as well as the right hand side so this is in this problem we have to find out cf as well as pi so do you remember how we found out cf let me rub this and then we'll proceed so do you remember what is the procedure and i have already told you that before you try this problem you must go through the cfpi rule okay so i'm rubbing this also okay so to find cf to find cf it's auxiliary equation is to find cf its auxiliary equation is do not confuse with the problem of ordinary differential equation and the partial differential equation because we have just completed the topic of partial differential equation so don't be confused with that so what we do we just put d is equal to m so this is m square plus 1 is equal to 0 this is my auxiliary equation therefore m square equal to minus 1 that is m is equal to plus minus iota okay so this falls under the third rule of complementary function for higher order ordinary differential equation so for this my cf is what is it e to the power 0x into c1 cos x plus c2 sin x okay so those who are not able to write it for them i am telling you if my if my root is alpha plus minus i beta here my root is 0 plus minus 1 i so here my root is 0 plus minus i so what is alpha 0 what is beta 1 i is equal to i okay for such type of root we have cf is equal to c1 sorry e to the power alpha x into c1 cos x plus c2 sin beta x so i have the root like this so consider think like that those who are getting the problem alpha 0 beta 1 so put alpha 0 so this is e to the power 0 c1 beta is 1 so cos x beta is again 1 sin x okay now e to the power 0 is 1 so my cf is c1 cos x plus c2 sin x this is my cf okay but we are not end here okay we also have to find out pi so what is pi pi can be found out by 1 upon what is it d square plus 1 d here you can take y common it is like d square plus 1 of 1 into what is it sin 2x now this comes under the second rule of particular integral which says if you have a function of sin and cos so put d square is equal to what put d square is equal to minus of a square what is a here 2 so minus of 2 square so we have to put minus 4 we get what is it pi is equal to 1 upon minus 4 plus 1 sin 2x which is minus 1 by 3 sin 2x okay now what we are going to do here is we are going to write down the general solution and that would be my extremal okay general solution of equation a and extremal for the given problem okay therefore the general solution the general solution of 
equation A is is y is equal to cf plus pi. We have found out cf y is equal to you can write that is y is equal to what is my cf c1 cos x plus c2 sin x minus 1 by 3 sin 2x where where c1 and c2 are are arbitrary constants and this is nothing but the required extremal. This is the required extremal for the given problem. Okay, so two three remark I would like to make here, and that remark is that remark is the very first remark is don't apply the Rules for complementary function of PD. Here you have to apply the rules uh, for complementary function as well as for particular integral of higher order homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficient. And that differential equation is ordinary one. Second, we are very habitual of writing where uh, phi 1 and phi 2 are arbitrary functions. So here C1 and C2 are arbitrary constant. This is the second one okay so such type of problem will be there for you to solve let me give you one problem that you can solve at home so that is the try this problem and once you are done with this you can write down the uh, solution of this problem that i am giving you in the comment box okay so find the extremum find the extremal of the functional extremal of the functional what is it i is equal to integration x1 to x2 y square plus y dash square plus 2y e to the power x dx so this is the problem that we can that you can solve with the help of uh, the problem that we have taken in this so i hope this is uh, making some sense and you can uh, solve this problem without any difficulty by applying the rules of complementary function and particular integral that whose link has been shared in the description okay so thank you for watching enjoy learning mathematics thank you